Scenes from bygone days. The Queen meeting heads of state and government of the British Commonwealth at Windsor Castle in 2018. By her side is former heir apparent Prince Charles, now King Charles III. The Commonwealth was very important to the Queen. It remains a great pleasure and honour to serve you as head of the Commonwealth and to observe with pride and satisfaction that this is a flourishing network. It is my sincere wish that the Commonwealth will continue to offer stability and continuity for future generations. Carry on. The Queen was the symbolic head of the Commonwealth, but many wonder whether her son will be able to follow in her footsteps as leader. That's because some of the 15 Commonwealth realms, mostly former colonies, where Charles is officially king, no longer want the monarchy. Nor is Britain's explicit leadership role in the Commonwealth set in stone. The new king had already prepared for this, say observers such as David Howell, a long-serving Commonwealth expert. King Charles, uh, he's very well versed in all this. He's been following it for years. He knows uh, most of the countries of the world, but certainly the countries of the Commonwealth. He understands, as very few other, not all other politicians understand, that we do need to make new links and new networks. In November 2021, Barbados removed the Queen as head of state and declared itself a republic within the Commonwealth. The then Prince was invited, but had rather a supporting role at the ceremony. The creation of this republic offers a new beginning. And so a Commonwealth of 16 states under the British Crown became 15 and it will likely not stop there. Charles's son, William, toured the Bahamas, Belize and Jamaica in spring 2022. His father is now formally head of state in all three. But the three countries have been recently making moves to change that. Rather than praise Prince William, he was greeted with criticism from the public, with a focus on slavery during the British colonial era. During the visit, the Jamaican president announced the country's intentions to leave. We are moving on, and we intend to attain in short order our development goals uh, and fulfill our true ambitions and destiny as an independent, uh, developed, prosperous, but for many Jamaicans, this isn't enough. They're demanding compensation for the suffering under colonialism. Our economic conditions today are a result of colonialism. Our psychological problems are a result of colonialism. Our lack of development, in every sense of the word, is a direct consequence of colonialism. The future of the British Crown is also being debated in Australia, the second largest Commonwealth country. However, there is support from the younger generation for keeping Charles as the nominal king. The polling has showed that my generation is actually the most monarchist generation. Uh, the most republican generation in Australia is actually the baby boomers. Um, so. And I know plenty of people on the left who aren't necessarily um, monarchists, but they support the system we have because they don't see a better alternative. But can Charles become a symbol of a new reformed Commonwealth? The leadership role of Great Britain is historical, but no longer contemporary, says Commonwealth expert Howell. Life has changed and the diplomats have to face this and they have to get away, as it does the public, from this sort of vision of uh, hub and spoke. We're not hub and spoke anymore. We're networks within a partnership. It's not the crown over them. That is uh, like-minded friends around the world, which we can talk to, and the richer ones can help the poorer ones. At the recent Commonwealth Summit a few months ago, then Prince Charles spoke of the British colonial era, of the suffering it caused so many people. An apology, however, did not pass his lips. If he is to succeed his mother, Charles III must pave a new path for the royal house. For the one most adept to change is the one that survives.